Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your boy Retro Quinn, and we're coming at you with a quick tutorial video on how to set up your stream apps OBS so that you can start streaming from PC. I won't make this video too long. Um, I'm pretty much just getting straight to the point, answer a lot of the questions. Um, I had a video back in January that I uploaded with my gaming PC because I was getting ready to get into streaming and everything. And a lot of questions that were being asked were revolving around Streamlabs or you know just regular OBS and how to set up a basic stream. So that's the purpose of this video. Um, and you know, just to jump right into it, when you first download Streamlabs OBS and open the app or op open the software up, um, everything that you see here won't be displayed on your screen. You just have a blank canvas to work with. And if you look over here on the left side, up under the different scenes, um, in which you can see, I do stream from my PS5 as well as my PC. But I did go ahead and make a blank test scene so that you all can you know see how to actually set it up. But um, first, you want to go here and you would just want to add a new scene and you know you can name it whatever you want to um like i said pc scene ps5 scene whatever you plan on doing um you'll go ahead and just name that and once you name it you want to come over here to your sources and there will be three main sources that you would need in order to stream um, one would be the audio input capture one would be the window capture and one would be the video capture device if you decide to use a webcam during stream but you will come over here to this plus icon and you will click that. And the first one I'll do is the audio input capture. But once you click on the audio input and I already have mine, but um, it would appear over here. And what you will want to check for is to make sure that you see the volume peaking over here once you add the input device that you want. But this will be the screen that you would see. And you know, just hit the drop down menu and your PC detects anything that's audio related. So you would just choose the one that you want to use for your um for your input capture. And like I said, once you do that, you want to go over here and make sure that you see your sound peaking um over on the right side in the mixer area. And once you get your microphone added, you go back to the plus sign once again, and you'll want to go ahead and add your window capture. Now, uh, from my experience, the easiest way to do the window capture is to have the game up that you want to go, you know, that you plan on streaming or, you know, plan on playing. And for me, it was Apex. So you will click on the window capture once the game is already um, loaded. And, you know, I already, like I said, I already have my name and which um, if you play multiple games to keep it simple, you could just, you know, name each game that you want to play. And, you know, you could just just go between each one. But um, for mine, it's Apex Legends. And once you add that window, you'll come to a screen that looks similar to this. And like I said, if, if you already have the game up, the computer will read it and you will just go ahead and click on that and the game will be visible in this area right here. And once you have your window capture selected, um, you will go over to your video capture device if you decide to use a webcam or if you have a, you know, Elgato, but that would be for console gaming but um, you will go over to your video capture device and you know i already have mine right here i have my webcam but you will click on the device that you want to add and once you get that added um you'll be on a screen like this what you want to pay attention to on this screen is to make sure that you see the actual video showing on the screen and that that'll let you know that you have the correct um video capture device selected but once you select that, it'll appear up here. And, you know, as you can see, you can move it around any way that you want. And that's one thing that I like about OBS and, you know, just using the different streaming softwares. You're able to move, you know, move everything right where you need it and everything. And um, sometimes your canvas may be off. So um, an easy thing to do is just, you know, right click here, go down to transform and fit to screen. That will go ahead and set your canvas right where you need it. And with your webcam, you can you know make it bigger make it smaller you can put it anywhere you know on the canvas that you want you know for you for the depending on the different game and you know how you plan on streaming but um that's pretty much it for this video hopefully everyone you know got a got an understanding as to how to set up a basic stream and like i said there are a lot of other um standards and widgets that can be added to your stream you know for um like stream alerts when someone subscribes to your channel or you know donates or anything like that so if you want me to make a video on how to actually use every um every different aspect that Streamlabs has to offer make sure that you um you know comment down below and let me know so that i could get that added into another video for you so that'll wrap it up for this video i appreciate all of the love and support that's been showing on my channel so far um you know y'all make sure that y'all like the video comment on the video 
um, share the video so a lot of other people can see how to set up a basic stream and if you have any questions on the stream or you know how to add anything else feel free to comment down below and you know I'll make sure that I can answer every question to the best of my ability but without further ado this is your bar retro Quinn I'm out